the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 it can be faster than ever and will be sharing the details right. Please subscribe followed by the file. You can also keep up on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So this week. The good news of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is can be faster than ever with under a 9 milliseconds response time. The camera performances can have some big improvements of the S range. We also have new renders and information on the design of the smartphone before get started though. Please like the video. If your Samsung phone let me know in the comments. What phone you were looking forward to most this year. First of all, we had more confirmation of a change in the cameras on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra This comes from reputable Lika Ice Universe You mentioned this in the past, but yesterday he tweaked to say the Note 20 Ultra is can cancel the 100 times to the new maximum on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is can be a 50 times zoom, and Samsung are going to strive to optimize the zoom experience also said before. This is a very sensible move 100 times digital zoom is pretty much pointless, as you may as well experience. This is probably a hint toward the laser autofocus sensor. We know can have instead of the time of flight 3D sensor. He also advised last week that the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra comes with the Snapdragon 865 Plus according C Plus resolution, along with a display that can run this resolution at 120Hz. This is also going to be LTPO to help with better battery life, we get new camera functions along with the new Aspen features, and he also provided some images with a tweet, which for some reason that many claimed was the Note 20 Ultra can clearly see, is just a Note 10 Plus for those who aren't a fine of care of screens. Of course you are in luck with the standard Galaxy Note 20 as this is completely flat when it comes to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra though things are very different story. After the S range of people assumed the Note 20 Ultra was can have minimum curvature on its display price universes advised that while we will be seeing trim down vessels around the curve on the Note 20 Ultra is going to be a steep curve, similar to its predecessor. It's always a stranger when it comes to the Note, as I do love the look of a curve. I feel and the Note 20 Ultra, which shows a difference in camera modules, the label to the Note 20, and the Note 20 Plus we know from recent certification. The Note 20 Plus is can be called the Note 20 Ultra we can see from the images, though the Note 20 Ultra has considerably larger camera module at the same time. That shouldn't come as a surprise. After the recent S20 Ultra finally got a tweet from Ice Universe that simply says 9 milliseconds. This could mean anything, but most people are pretty certain he's talking about the Galaxy Note 20 Aspen yes and response time has always been a little slower, in considering the display can be bumped up to 120Hz 9 milliseconds response time on the pendant, will work very well with that display the fast response time. It just makes things much more fluid and comfortable to use, and probably one of the reasons that the Apple Pencil was so popular it's not a huge innovation. I do think it's something that can fundamentally improve the Galaxy Note 20, and something that most consumers will welcome us, FC. Don't forget to subscribe to get right into it, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is coming with a 6.7-inch Amarillo display, with the Poncho Sophie camera top center, will many were hoping for the display selfie camera. It's not can happen and it's most likely going to be for the S range. The dimensions come in 161.8 x 75.3 x 8.5 mm, which makes the Note 21 mm thicker than its predecessor significantly larger overall. One thing that you may have already noticed is a flat display on the Note 20, I'm assuming this is can please a lot of you my most complained about features in the comment is of course the curved display. You can see the on the Note 20 record the volume and the home buttons on the right hand side, using the left side completely clear. We take a look underneath record USB Type-C port microphone, a speaker, grow, and the S Pen at the far left. The same tray is now located at the top of the Galaxy Note 20 on the rear record rectangular camera module, similar to the S range, is 38.1mm long by 21.9mm wide Samsung's range, is 38.1mm long by 21.9mm wide Samsung reportedly still working on these cameras, so we don't have any confirmation on what they can be it's expected. It will contain either the HM1 or the GN1 from Samsung. We can of course see that we've got three lenses on the left with the periscope lens on the right underneath the LED flash. You can see the back panel is curved on both edges with a slight comes in all corners, and overall looks like a comfortable device to hold, and still a very premium smartphone. Next up we got my favorite which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus these vendors were provided by Pictalon on leaks. We have most of the details of this still some unconfirmed information. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus is coming with the largest 6.9-inch curved Amarillo display recorder, poncho camera top center, we have plenty of display from Ross Young. We have since deleted the tweet. 
since we can only assume there's an issue always been asked to remove them we're expecting an LTPO display. But again with the Poncho Sophie camera is in display camera is just ready. Yet the Note 20 Plus dimensions the Poncho Sophie camera is in display camera is just ready. Yet the Note 20 Plus dimensions come in at 165 x 77.2 x 7.6 mm with the trim down vessels. It is pretty much full screen with the volume and power buttons on the right hand side with the left completely smooth. The bottom now is the same as the Note 20 with the S Pen at the far left, followed by speaker USB port and microphone on the rear. We got another rectangular camera housing we can see it is a little bit different from the smaller Note 20 have to say. I much prefer this one looks a little bulky with bigger lenses, actually really like these camera rings, and I think it adds to the premium look the device we got the cameras on the left, which reportedly could be the Samsung HM1 and the GN1 with the periscope lens underneath over on the right hand side, see a true depth camera underneath the LED flash. Again, the edges account on the back, and overall it looks like it can be a great device. We still haven't had any details on the pricing, and probably won't until close to the launch towards the end of the year. This can be interesting to see why they price it, the Note line is always the most towards the end of the year. This can be interesting to see why they price it, the Note line is always the most premium of the range well apart from the newly added followed the S range, with price relatively high, that sold less than expected it, so this could affect the pricing on the Note. One thing we do know though is that with the Note we'll get improved display factory camera and general hardware, and of course we don't have much longer until it's going to be released now can run through all of the specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, and the Note 20 plus of my regular viewers, you guys have already seen it, so I suggest you switch off now if you're new here, then, don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll get right into it, of, subscribe and we'll get right into it, of, of course the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is can be an incredible smartphone, actually one of my favorite releases this year, we'll likely see improved design display cameras, and more for anyone who's missed my previous videos, we'll quickly run through what we can expect you with S range in the past, things have been changing lately to be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20 last year, we had the Note in two sizes, which was 6.3 inch and 6.8 inch displays. We then have a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display. Given that the S range has massively increased in size, with a 6.9 inch display now coming under the estimate that we could see a Galaxy Note 20 with at least a 7 inch display. Of course, more often, sizes are generally getting larger, so publicizes are going to rise to given the success of last year's notes also can predict we'll be getting a Galaxy Note 21, with the Galaxy Note 20 Plus, we haven't had any solid leaks or information when it comes to displays, trying to predict a 6.5 inch display on the Galaxy Note 27 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 Plus expecting both models to be 1440x3200 resolution, and that will be a 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display winnowed out in the sea, and in display fingerprints along with Gorilla Classics for protection, when it comes to the Sophie camera, the Note line interesting to see whether they stick with the Poncho camera, top center of the Galaxy Note 20 comes with a new design altogether. Many are curious with the in-display cameras. I can be available for consumers. One Samsung have this technology already. My guess would be introducing it on the Note line, but unfortunately the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early, for this stack is likely can be something we see in 2021, when it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11, or the Galaxy Note 20 is it may be cool, no doubt that we can see a rectangular camera housing Samsung have stuck with this across the mid-range, and their flagship this year, so the Note 20 should be no different Samsung, have also been getting a lot more adventurous with the cameras, so you can predict we'll get a 108 megapixel ISA cell sensor, with pixel bending technology will get a periscope lens, with some incredible zoom capabilities, will get an ultra-wide angle, for this is why charts will also get a 3D time of flight, that sensor will soon no doubt see better camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2020 it can be powered by the Snapdragon 865 in North America, and the Axonal Sign 90 globally, we see up to 512 gigs of internal storage with up to 16 GB of RAM, and will of course be expandable with a Micros card given the larger size. The Galaxy Note 20 Plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5200 mAh, the Galaxy Note 20 is can be around 4300. Of course, both Galaxy Note 20 can be running Android 10, in the form of One UI 2 it will be IP68 water resistant. The Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers, and number 3 and a half no headphone jack, and most importantly for Note finds it will be coming with the much left as pendant using Bluetooth 5, we have had any leaks on the upcoming S Pen, but it's no doubt can be more refined with new hardware and software features. The Galaxy Note 20 is set to be an incredible device, and judging by recent years, we can expect the Galaxy Note 22 launch, at the start of August 2020 release towards the end of the month, when it comes to pricing. 
It will of course be an expensive device standard note 20 around $1,400-$1,500 for the Galaxy. While there's not a lot of information regarding the Galaxy Note 20, some reports have already emerged, and it's safe to assume that the smartphone will share at least some similarities with the Galaxy S20 lineup. This includes the naming scheme, albeit the phone could be called the Galaxy Note 11 instead. For now, we'll refer to the phablet by the tentative Galaxy Note 20 moniker, as it's more likely for Samsung to remain consistent with the S series. An early leak of an alleged Galaxy Note 20 protective case suggests the phablet will have a main camera assembly, similar to the Galaxy S20 Plus or S20 Ultra, at least in terms of design. This translates into a large rectangular camera bump, unlike the vertical arrangement employed by the Note 10 series. Another hint dropped by this early leak is that the Galaxy Note 20 might reposition the physical buttons to the right side of the phone. The Galaxy Note 10 broke tradition by having the buttons on the left side, but Samsung might go back on this decision with the sequel. Samsung's upcoming S Pen flagship might be released in more than one variant, much like the Galaxy Note 10 was. As yet, the upcoming flagship will have a more fine-tuned 120Hz refresh rate technology. Exactly what this entails is unclear, but perhaps Samsung will make 120Hz available for all resolutions and will implement a dynamic mode. Regardless of whether or not the entry was real, we expect the Galaxy Note 20 to offer more RAM options, including 12GB for 5G models. It's logical to assume that it will use the Snapdragon 865 Plus SOC in some markets, but there's no information regarding the international Galaxy Note 20 variant. The series will probably follow a strategy similar to the Galaxy S20 and employ an Exynos chipset internationally, while reserving the Qualcomm version for specific markets. Storage-wise, Samsung might take a step back and equip the base model with 128GB of memory, down from 256GB on the base Note 10 variant. On the bright side, Samsung Note 20 Plus will Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as it may also be cooled. Given the success of this as light models. It's also likely that we'll get a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line is a great time to be a Samsung fan, with so many phones being released by the company. We got a huge selection in the range of the premium asked, and the Note line on top of the Galaxy Folder and the Galaxy that flip phone no, have to say it is that flip phone is the only one that doesn't really excite me. This is because I see it as a little bit unnecessary. It's sort of trying to solve a problem that isn't really there in the first place, and being overcomplicated for very little reason of course, that's just my opinion though, and I'm sure it will be a successful phone being priced much lower than the fold of Coulter's or the information estimates we have today, but as soon as any solid information comes to light. I'll be sharing with you guys straight away, but just wanted to give you my estimations, along with these stunning vendors that concept artists have already brought together as always, though, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts and the comments there's waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, and if so how often do you thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece out.